Project Workbench. Ah, Admiral Satterley. Grant was a good friend. He'll be missed by all of us. It was a tragic accident, nothing more. Maybe. I know you too well, Paul. I think you're up to something. And I think you and the Council are too flippant about this situation. And the siphons too. You're playing with fire here. If you are even thinking of violating your orders. Door. Cut it. Great. Yeah, play is, is not an easy thing to put together. You're, de you're, de you're, you're dealing with all of the same departments. You know, you're dealing with set builders, you're dealing with painters, you're dealing with sound. And, you know, makeup is something, that's another thing we, we all studied, was makeup. Hmm. You know, we all had makeup classes, we all learned how to make our own beers, how to use latex. You know, in the theater, you do that yourself. Nobody goes backstage and does that for you, unless it's a special makeup. Like when Bobby Morse did uh, Truman Capote, it was a special makeup. Sure. And they had somebody there to put it on, help take it off. But, um, and actors, uh, their job is to check their props. If there's something you're going to do, and there's a table left and right, your props are on it. So when the actor gets into the theater, the first thing he does is go out on the stage. The props he has to use in the first act, he checks them. Because when you reach for, a, like, a gun, Better I worked it. with Edward Everett Horton. And Edward Everett Horton had a gun in the scene. You know, he reached in the middle drawer and brought it out. And he, if it didn't work, he went into another drawer. There was another gun. <laughs> and then he had somebody off stage left with another gun, if it didn't fire. Then you have to check your personal props. Stage left, stage right. What do you bring on? What do you bring off? Then you have to check your props that you're going to put in your pockets. This is the responsibility of the actor. You know, when you're working with a prop man or you're working with a wardrobe person, I think you should work with them. The other thing, I can always tell the difference between a New York actor and an actor out here. Just open up the dressing room. See if they've hung their clothes after they've used them. Interesting. So Have they hung up their clothes? Yeah. Leave them thrown on the couch? Not cool. Not cool at all. Lack of training. Lack of discipline. Hmm. Lack of Fire them, Sky! Wow. Fire them! If you don't want to do the job, give it to me. I'll do it. I'll show you how to really do the job right. This is it, folks. This is where it's happening. <laughs> this is it's how it's done. <laughs> This is how we do it here on Star Trek, uh, Star Trek Renegade. This is how we do it here out at 475, <laughs> what is it? <laughs> right, four, the 475 production, production 475. I like this. That's how we do this it. This is how we roll. This is our mission statement coming together right here. Yeah. Amazing. You know, don't give anybody a free ride. None of that bullshit. If people aren't contributing and doing their job, get rid of them. Get how? me. No fat. That's what I always found, you know, I, I loved it. Um, yeah, I've done a bunch of films that are still sitting on the shelf. I did a film, a friend of mine, a playwright, he, he wrote a play, uh, a film for me, and I had five sons that I hadn't treated well. And the whole idea is go back and try to get back with them. I had been a drunkard and all that stuff. And we helped him. He wrote this film, and he got the best sound he could, and he got a good camera, and he got a good script to advise him. Spent the money there. And we all worked for nothing. You know, he had, we had a blah, blah, blah contract, and it was, uh, we got workman's comp, and he had to make a contribution to the health and the whatever. And we used to start Friday night. They'd rent a lot of the equipment. They had to rent, of course. We started Friday night, and we were Friday night, Saturday, Sunday, and they returned the stuff on Monday. Every actor was responsible for their own wardrobe. So we had to look color-coded our scripts and color-coded a tag on our own wardrobe. And we checked it, because he asked us. He said, you know, guys, it's true, like we did in the theater. We do our own wardrobe. You do your own wardrobe. You know, you take, you take the responsibility of doing it because he had like five or six people on the crew. It is not, most people make things look more difficult than they are. When I worked for Canon Films, I did, um, I did a movie with uh, Klaus Kinski uh, for Canon Films. They used available light. It was at night, they pushed it. And when I saw it, it looked fine to me. They had no time for all these big setups. Even at night, you know, when they used their offices, we shot interiors, we shot exteriors, we did this, we did that. 
And it shows that you can get it done. And what they were doing, they were creating product without a great hope. To them, they wanted to create product. And product to them is something that would make a profit. No artsy-fartsy. <laughs> product. Because when you come down to it, that's what it's all about. Sure. And that's all I have to say, Scott. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I have given all of you watching this today a master class. And if you need any help, don't call me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Uh, <laughs> I feel fantastic, sir. <laughs> this is internet gold. It's truly all bullshit. <laughs> Terrific bullshit. Bro, <laughs> that was real bullshit. I have Can you a... get some of this off me? Oh, yes. I think good. I'm done. Okay, great. Right. That was absolutely wonderful. I think, Thank you so I much. think you're going to have a lot of work cut <laughs>